Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Peacock Brothers tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to level up your rail game with a few simple basics. Welcome to the video. Now, you might already think, I'm advanced on rails, why do I need to go back to the basics? But these basics we're about to teach you are the fundamental building blocks to improving your rail riding. Without these simple steps, everything else is going to be a lot more difficult. And once you have these nailed, it's really going to help improve everything in the park. So, tip number one, always hold on with the front hand only. Now this applies if you're riding regular or switch as well. By just having the front hand on, it actually has a lot of different benefits. Number one. <coughs> Are you joking me? I was doing so good. Ugh. When we're riding on rails, it's going to be very important to hold on with the front hand only. This is going to keep the shoulders square, the board straight, and avoid us from turning when we're on the rails. It's really important that we can stay nice and straight so we don't clip the nose and tail, and also we've got a lot more control when leaning forwards and backwards. If you can take a look here, when I have the front hand on, my shoulders are nice and square. As soon as I reach on the other handle, my chest is facing forward. The board is then gonna to wanna to turn and it's just gonna make your life a lot more difficult. So when we're on the rails, keep that front hand on, we're gonna stay nice and low, and then we're gonna be a lot more controlled. This leads us on to our second point. Always stay low. It's one of the most frequently said things whenever I'm coaching. By staying low, your center of gravity is gonna be much lower and it's gonna be considerably easier to balance. Have you ever found yourself on a rail where you just are standing up really tall and you've got nowhere to go but slip out and land on your body on the rail? It's not the most fun experience. You can believe me, I've been there many times. But the secret is really staying very, very low. By keeping the knees bent, it means you're gonna be able to react a lot faster to whatever situation we find ourselves in. If you're coming up short, you can jump. If we're standing up tall, there is very to little no margin for error. By staying low, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. The third tip that we've got for you, never pull on the handle. This might come as a little bit of a surprise for some of you, but when we're on the rails, it's really important we keep that front arm on, but straight and strong. Let me show you what I mean. When we're riding on the rails, we want the arm to be a little bit bent, but nice and strong, so it's not gonna pull you over. You can keep the body strong, the arm strong, but never pulling on the handle. If we pull on the handle, you're gonna get slack in the rope, and you can only slip over in that position. So it's really important that we keep that arm strong and never pulling. The fourth tip, when we're riding on the rails, we've got our front hand on, we're nice and low, and we want to do all of the work with our hips and legs. A lot of people will try and pull the handle when they want to turn. That's not the correct way to do it. We can actually keep our shoulders and chest facing the direction we're going, and then we can loosen up the hips to turn the body. This is really gonna be crucial when it comes to learning those more technical board positions when on the rails. So there you have it, a few tips for you guys to really help improve your rail riding. Doesn't matter what level you're at, make sure to practice these and you are definitely gonna see an improvement in your rail game. If you guys have gained any value from today's video, please consider subscribing or you can support us on our Patreon. By pledging just a few pounds a month, you can really help myself and Liam in keeping these videos going. Thanks a lot and we'll catch you next time.